Welcome to the tutorial on 10 things to know about PubMed. Let's get started. Number one, PubMed is big. This database covers all aspects of the health sciences from allergies to zoonotic diseases. If you are searching for evidence on a health science topic, PubMed is a great place to go. Number two, PubMed is free. Although PubMed is a free database, most of the articles are not. To get to the full text articles, you must enter PubMed through the library's homepage. Start at library.sc.edu. Click on Articles and Databases. Click on the letter P and scroll until you see PubMed. Number three, PubMed is flexible. To search PubMed, just enter your keywords in the search box. You can connect your keywords with an AND, but it's not necessary. You can type your keywords in the single search box, or you can jump to advanced search and use multiple lines for searching. You can display your results by date, or you can sort through your results by relevance. Get comfortable with the search options. Number four, think like an author. When selecting the words for your search, think of the words that an author would use in an article. Use the medical terms. Instead of flu, think influenza. Number five, learn the language. Try to become familiar with the language of PubMed, MESH. MESH stands for Medical Subject Headings. Indexers tag MESH terms to most articles in PubMed. To find the MESH terms, look below the abstract and click on Publication Types, MESH Terms. Becoming familiar with MESH can help you search more effectively. Number six, use the Full Text Finder. The Full Text Finder will appear after you click on an article title. Clicking on this link will help you locate any full text articles available to you. Number seven, if an article is not available, try our interlibrary loan service. PubMed has citations for over 5,600 journals. We do not have subscriptions to all of them. If we don't have access to an article that you need, request the article through our interlibrary loan service. They will try and get you a copy of the article. Best of all, there's no cost to you. Number eight, explore the limiters. Since PubMed is such a big database, there are times when you'll need to focus your search. You can limit by article type, publication date, species, language, age, and more. Check them out. Number nine, beware of the free full text limiter. It sounds like a helpful link, but it is not. It will only provide you with articles that are free to everyone. It does not include the subscriptions purchased by the library. And finally, number 10, coming back for more. PubMed has a great feature to help you pick up where you left off, and you can save your searches. Click on Create Alert, then either create an account or log in to an existing account. You can save your searches or even have email updates when new articles appear on that search. Remember, if you have any questions, please ask a librarian. Thanks for watching.